Okay, so I've been checking out Articat's website today, and it looks like the rest of their lineup has been released just as of today. So specifically, let's talk about this uh, Blast series that they have released as of today in their product line. It was the one that was teased last month. And let's see what it's all about. Let's see what's going on. So this is like very much a um, entry level sled. Uh, you know, even for like a rider that's, uh, you know, 14, 15. This is, uh, this is like the size you want. They, they show it in a picture here, how it kind of sizes up, how it stacks up compared to the 200 and the uh, full size, looks like an M8000. So I was right about a few things uh, when we dove into this last month. I was right about it being a uh, youth model sled. Man, I was damn close on that price too. Like I wasn't far off at all on that. I said around, I think I said around the eight thousand dollar range. Uh, a couple things I was wrong about was I guessed it was going to be a four stroke. Uh, this is a four hundred two stroke engine running on a single cylinder. So this new Blast model comes in the M, comes in a ZR and an LT, which is it looks like a. Um, utility model they're calling it a sport utility model and then um of course the trail uh is the zr and the m is the mountain so it's a really lightweight mountain sled uh let's start with the mountain because i know that's what we're all interested in on this channel so let's dive right into the mountain sled and uh see what's going on with that thing we'll go we'll go through everything and you guys can uh um decide if you like it or not i know that um polaris has their own uh, what the hell is it called? Evo. Evo on the market. Um, so this is something similar to that. They're finally breaking into the kind of the youth entry market, which is something that I'm happy with. It feels like there's something they should have done a long time ago. It, there, were, uh, there were definitely sleds that were in that market, and it kind of just disappeared after the snow scoot disappeared. So as usual, Arctic Cat's many different types of colors they have available um we're, we'll just start we'll just start at the top and work our way down uh as usual arctic cats many thousands of color options that they have available uh the whole one of them for the stock and the special edition which okay it, it comes in three colors which is that's big news for arctic cat for uh one single model of sled holy smokes oh look at that there's the canadian edition Oh, that's cute. Okay, Pro Kit Black. What is that? Accessory package not shown. I wonder what that is. So it looks like all their M's, actually, yeah, all Cat's M's for 2021 are Alpha System. Um, so I, I got I got a bit of love and hate for that thing, and uh, let's let's see what uh, let's see what they're talking about here. So here's their single cylinder two stroke EFI engine. Uh, I'm just gonna basically go through things to you. I'll, I'll, I'll read to you how about. Uh, so 65 horsepower engine on that 400cc uh, single cylinder. So not bad, all EFI, fuel injected. 65 horsepower out of a single cylinder two stroke actually isn't bad. Lighter midsize chassis as, uh, as we're talking about. Electric start on those models um, probably is a, a great power to weight ratio. I wonder if they, they uh, actually put in how much this thing weighs i doubt it i was surprised even when we looked at the motor they put in how much power is coming out of that motor because i know that's something that nobody wants to really uh disclose but i guess with the it's not it's not like they're high performance engine so i don't think they're really afraid to uh disclose it um 146 track two inch lug um on the m digital gauge so this gauge is almost the exact same one, if not the exact same one. It looks a little different, just the uh, just the bezeling on it just looks a little different than what they've been putting in their quads, uh, as well as their side-by-sides. I'm not a big fan of this gauge. Um, it's kind of ugly. It doesn't really uh, cycle through the modes very... Um, smoothly I, and especially when like a company like uh, polaris has their color negative gauge which looks good and is actually really easy to read i, I like polaris's mountain gauges they look freaking sharp it definitely changed up the chassis in a few spots here um it looks more like a uh skidoo like the, the way skidoo braces their rails in the back it actually i noticed it doesn't have that foot peg 
that you can stand on on the back when you're doing hill climbing, but it's uh, it's only a 400, so it, it's not really meant for that. Like I'm, I'm always on my M's. I'm always using that little uh, that uh, tunnel gusset on the back of your um, your running boards that you can stand on and get a little more traction over. <clears throat> so let's move on to the Blast ZR. Uh, hey, look at that color. That's something that Cat has not done in a long time. Let's, uh, let's have a look at it. So the engine, the drivetrain, all that is going to be the same for this unit. So we won't go through that. Um, this is a trail unit. Like this is like a entry level, uh, trail unit. Let's see the hundreds of colors that Articat has to offer. Uh, oh, the whole two of them. Check. That's, that's standard Articat. Uh, two colors. Unless, uh, you're a certain years, then, then you only get one. Like a lot of this stuff is going to be the same. Um, the skid is obviously going to be way different because they're not running an alpha skid on their trail unit. Uh, but this is what I said even here, is that that, uh, that headlight really reminds me of the smaller units. And it is the Snowcross, the, um, the 6000 units too, had that same front end design. It was a little different, but really reminiscent of a smaller sled, which is why I called out the smaller sled. Uh, that's what it was gonna be. Most of this stuff is that uh, they just want to push you to order your Arctic Cat for 20, um, 2021 order. Uh, they really released early this year. Like their whole product line for 2021 is is uh, officially out, and they're taking pre-orders right now. Uh, as of today, I think they're taking pre-orders for your 2021 which is really early considering they're talking about ordering a sled for your 2021 season when you know the 2019 to 2020 season hasn't even started yet um so they're really early to the game i don't know if that's gonna help them or hinder them you think uh you think it would help people start get excited about it a lot of time to a lot of time to think about what's uh what's on the market anyway okay let's go to the last one let's ch let's check out what uh what's going on with this utility uh, LT unit. So very similar to the trail unit. Um, the skid is a little different. I can see that uh, there's a little more articulation in the back of the skid here, a longer track. I think it's a little bit more of an aggressive track as well. Uh, I'll post a link to this if nobody's checked it out yet uh, directly to Cat's site. But this was actually something they did in the Bearcats. Um, up to, I think they stopped producing them all together, if I'm right, or certain models, they stopped producing all together. But anyway, this is a similar design to that. This, uh, the back of the skid actually articulates, uh, very, they're all very similar. I mean, they're, they're all the same engine, uh, just with kind of different, uh, tunnel extension, different skid, um, probably a little bit different of suspension. Like th this one, we're down to a 1.6 inch lug, which actually still isn't bad. That's actually a... Still a pretty big lug for a utility, utility sled. Um, oh, let's let's uh, check out the colors. The whole I'm gonna guess there's one. Yeah, it's utility sled. They never, they never give you more than one. Like what? What? Like what here? What is the winter essentials kit? Oh, here we go. Okay, so it comes. Uh, we'll go back and uh, we'll see what's in these. So this one comes with a few things. Uh, high windshield, cargo bed, and pro bumper. Articat's factory bumpers usually aren't that great. Like specific gears, they're good, but for the most part, they're never really that great. Um, but let's go check out the M and let's just see what is going on for this. Um, their accessory package. This is the first time I've ever looked at any of this, so just kind of navigating through it. So again, bumper, mountain pack, and handlebar bag. I always rip my handlebar bags off because it was getting my way. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people, this one is kind of more of a beginner sled, so it's not going to be in their way. Like it's always in my way and I just ripped the thing off. Like there's, there's gotta be a YouTube video on this, right? Like somebody would have, like somebody would have a like YouTube video on this. Cat would have a YouTube video on this for sure. I'm sure Articat will have something on their page on this thing because they, they sneak peeked it. So they have to have something. What? What's going on? Is this the real Articat? What are you? So they have a video for the teaser, but they don't have a ride video or teasing anything. Come on. Well, there's your uh, there's your awesome marketing at Articat, as per usual. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Let's see, let's see what uh, Ruthless Motor has to say about it. Did this guy? <gasps> this guy taped 
the webinar. That's funny because I, I got invited to it, but uh, I don't work for Articat anymore, so I didn't know the password to get into it. Okay, here we go. This is like when the webinar here, it's like more information that they've given in like the whole uh, Articat website here. Well, I'll just read through it. Uh, compact size, less intimidating for novice or smaller riders. Uh, provides ease of use, reliability and maintenance and service. Price to fill the gap in the market. Electric start. So they say they say lightweight here. Near they say on the webinar here near 400 pounds. Um, that's kind of that's weird to me because that's getting into the area of RMK um, RMK weight, and we're down to a tiny little sled, and it being that. Uh, that same weight almost. Uh, liquid cooled, uh, CV Tech clutches. Uh, current stealth master cylinder lightweight brake caliper system. New exhaust pipe, same resonator as the 800. New air intake with under hood air draw, new hood. Ascender skid plate and side panels, same as the alphas. Halogen bulb, uh, power sport digital gauge, we talked about that. New seat, I guess. 11.7 um, gallon gas tank, lightweight, one piece tunnel, uh, dual shock adjustable torsion springs. They call uh, the customizable decals just the Canadian and American flag. Okay, uh, I, be I better not show any more of this because I'm going to get this guy in trouble because I'm not sure if he's allowed to uh, uh, tape the webinars, but he, he kind of he kind of brought it on himself because he posted it to YouTube directly, but I don't want to get them in trouble either. Yeah, those are those are the webinars that um, that Cat gives. I've sat through them before. Um, I don't want to get that kind of trouble. <laughs> More trouble. He he already posted it uh, though, so it's uh, it's kind of his own. He's kind of his own undoing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we want. All right. Uh, yeah. So the trail the CV Tech clutches. Uh, this is our AMS. Arctic Cat's been raving about that for a long time that's that's nothing new that's just their um arctic mountain suspension so nothing nothing really really new there uh where does it say it's ski stance i'd like to know that estimated dry weight okay so here we go uh in the webinar they said close to 400 pounds here they say nothing and that doesn't surprise me because everybody's scared to publish their weight and usually their power too so ski stance is 37 to 39 uh the cats go down to 36 in their mountain series so we're a little bit wider there which may be not be a bad thing for a new i, I never run mine at 36 anyway because it's just too narrow yeah I, I don't know what else to say about it uh it, that's it's it's not about who have i been talking to on, i've been talking to somebody on instagram i think is uh What's his name? Patrick. Shout out to Patrick. Yeah, yes, Patrick. I, I did call it out. I did call it was going to be a mid-sized machine. Uh, a lot of people in those co the comments of that video I posted just going over, uh, analyzing the teaser video, said it was going to be something else. A few people agreed with me. But um, yeah, there you go. That is their entry-level mid-sized sled, which I think is absolutely great. Uh, they have its... like w One advantage that uh, they have over the Evo is that... Um, they have three different models of the sled. So you have a trail model, a mountain model, and a um, utility model. So that's definitely a plus. Like it, it gives you more options. It, it opens up the market a little bit more, you know, for, for uh, maybe uh, a kid who wants to get into the mountain. You know, you don't want to start them on something that's uh, um, more trail based. I mean, that, that's how I started. I started on a 86 fa phaser, the, the same one that I have that's been absolutely gutted it's more like a rat phaser now but i mean that's that's what i started on I, I think a lot of you guys are the same you started on old some old piece of junk and uh you just made your way up slowly got nicer and nicer sleds until you actually had something that could um handle the mountains so anyway uh there you have it I'll, I'll leave a couple links in the description down to some of the literature that i have been looking at uh but there there's the deal that i called it I called it, I'm the man!
A lot of you guys have been saying that you like this kind of video where something new comes on the market and I just analyze it, give you my opinion, and uh, I just I, I read it for you so you don't have to do any of the reading yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, Articat is releasing their, yeah, they've released their uh, snow check for 2021 right now, like four months ahead of everybody else. Um, that's all I got for today's video. Once, um, once Polaris comes out with their own snow checks, and um, as well as Skidoo comes out with theirs, I'm, I'm gonna kind of analyze those uh, those products too. I'm not really expecting anything big from either of them. Skidoo's getting close to actually they both are Skidoo and um, uh, Polaris as well. I think Polaris a little more so is probably getting pretty close to needing a new chassis. I think they probably got like a year or two left in what they have going uh, for the mountain segment as well as um, Skidoo too. They're, they're both, it, it's it, they're starting to get to the end of that chassis life. So uh, let, let's see if they do anything interesting this year. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see it. I thank everyone for watching this video. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see everyone in the next one.